Hi guys! Okay, so today I will be reviewing the Wookiee Warrior um, figure for you. Um, and so to start off, we will go with the card back. Scoot all the accessories over. Um, it is the Episode 3 Greatest Battle Collection. And so I guess they were, they took some of the best scenes from battle and made figures out of them. Of course, Padme is there, but she didn't do any fighting whatsoever. So I don't know. Um, this is the one that includes the hologram figure. Um, and I am very used to getting, you know, like the little, um, classic, uh, rebel fighters and then the stormtroopers. I'll occasionally get an, a Darth Vader. Um, but I have never seen a Yoda before. Um, I thought that was extremely cool. What, you know, maybe one of the reasons why I picked this particular figure. Um, is that better? Yeah, better one, better two. Um, and so he is like super awesome. Um, I don't have a Yoda little hologram figure. And so it's a great little extra. I loved that they did these. They gave you kind of like a little um, extra Star Wars uh, piece to go uh, with your uh, figure that you purchased. Um, but here is the Wookiee himself. Um, put in the, there we are. So he's got lots of, you know, good detailing. I really liked the figures from this era from 2006, 2005. Um, I thought they did good, uh, pretty good with articulation, and I think that the detailing is good, um, was, you know, really neat. And so, you know, he's got some, like, dreadlocks going on, as most Wookiees do. Um, he's really, really stocky. He's, like, super thick. Um, I'd like to compare him. Is his butt, is, yeah, his butt is totally a different color than his legs. That's awkward. Um, but I'd like to compare him to, um, like, my other Wookiees. I only have three, I only have three other ones, but, um... He's definitely, like, you know, neat. I like him a lot. Um, I love Wookiees. They're my favorite. Um, so he also comes with this cool little helmet. It's almost got a um, Roman design to it. Um, of course, they've made it into an alien design, you know, because he's a Wookiee. But it's it's got that, you know, slightly samurai Roman look to it. Samurai from the front and, and Roman kind of from the side a little bit. Um, and it is cool, pretty neat on his head. Of course, it doesn't have any way to stick on. And so, you know, if you were a little kid at the time playing with him... Well, I guess you'd be okay. Um, just don't knock it off. Um, but I guess, yeah, see, um, it doesn't really have anything to keep it to stay because it's just, you know, carved out inside. Uh, but it looks cool on his head. Um, and it fits well. He also comes with this uh, weird blaster gun. I've never looked too deeply into the weapons that the Wookiees use because they're really weird looking. Um, but there is that, and somehow that's going to fit in his hand. And it's, it looks like some sort of blaster rifle. Um, pretty, pretty generic, I guess. Um, but cool. Um, and it also comes with these weird things. I guess I should not have moved the, my, the, yeah. Um, these are supposed to be like shin guards. Um, according to the picture, he's wearing shin guards and, um, putting them on, they don't fit. His, his legs are so wide that they don't really fit. Um, it's kind of like wrapping a dead noodle around your leg, you know, like a, a lymph noodle, uh, because the little grips on the sides, they just don't stick on very well. Give me a second, see if I can get it on. I just, I, they, it looks good from the front, but it's not practical, really. Um, they kind of pop off a little bit. Um, and they don't really want to stay. See, from, from the front, it's not bad, but then you, you know, it's not a good grip. And there goes his hat. So, um, you know, complaint about the armor. I think the figure itself is great, but the armor could be way better. I feel like, you know, they could have made, you know, put a hole in this, or put a little, um, put a hole in the top of his head, put a peg in there, um, give it a little ring inside so that it would fit snugly to his head. I feel like they could have done so much better with the knee pad or the shin guards. Um, but if, you know, more, more than likely it's just going to be a display piece and so it's not going to be a big deal if you just can get them, you know, set on. Uh, but as a kid, you know, at the time when these figures came out, I would have, um, wanted to play with him and, you know, having his armor fall off probably wasn't the best. Um, but as articulation goes, he's as articulated as a Wookiee gets, um, ball hinged, um, knees, um, swivel hips, swivel torso, um, I think is, yeah, swivel wrists, swivel arms, so they stay in that right angle shape most of the time, um, ball hinge shoulders, and I think his head, 
this ball hinge, but there's so much up there that you can't really move it. Um, great, like I said, a display piece. It's wonderful. Um, I love Wookiees, and so he's a great uh, piece to my Wookiee uh, collection. Um, and he's really, really burly. He's, he's a good figure for your money, you know, when you compare him to, um, you know, like something like this. What one do you want to pay, you know, $5 for? You know, at the time, I guess they were something close to five. Uh, what one do you want to pay $5 for, you know, or what do you think you're going to get the most money out of? So, um, and he comes with accessories, so, and a really cool little holographic figure. And so I really enjoy this figure, um, and I'm excited to put him with my other Wookiees. Uh, okay, guys, so stay tuned for some more figure reviews. Um, catch you later.